a little bit of a video update. This is Tipper, Kilo, my kitties. I have three cats and little Snoop Dogg, nine pound China Dog Meat Rescue, new to the pack as of this summer. Uh, she also eats a fully raw diet. I feed my dogs and cats a species appropriate diet. Uh, I feed Big Country Raw. I just want to give a quick uh, meal example for dogs with uh, cruciate or joint injuries or issues. Uh, any large breeds liable to have uh, hip and joint issues. Tipper was diagnosed with a partial cruciate tear, which we were able to 100% recover from using uh, conservative management uh, and good diet, nutrition, and supplements. Uh, Kilo also gets uh, joint supplements just as preventative because he's such a large dog. So I just want to show you what I'm feeding. So my cats also eat a raw diet. They get only blends, no fruits and veggies for cats because they're obligate carnivores. And then it's drizzled with a little bit of the herring oil. Uh, and there's is a, it's a blend from Big Country Raw. It's a proper ratio of meat to bone to organ. Uh, my dogs are getting tonight, I rotate proteins tonight. It's a chicken dinner, which includes organic uh, fruits and vegetables and kelp. And uh, so they have that tonight, very simple meal tonight. Tipper has a chicken foot. I feed chicken feet uh, because they have natural source of glucosamine in there. Uh, as well, uh, it's really good for cleaning their teeth and a little bit more bone content, plus they absolutely love it. Kilo gets a chicken, frozen chicken drumstick. Uh, he's a power chewer. You want to be careful if you're giving your dogs bone in meat and they're not used to it. Um, my main supplement that I use for joints is Trioxta HA. Now this is an awesome supplement. It is pricey, but there's no fillers. And it's great because it includes hyaluronic acid, which it helps to uh, generate synovial fluid, which is the, uh, it's kind of like the liquid cushioning in their joints. So it's amazing. And I have seen results with this product whenever I've had issues within a couple of weeks. I now just give a maintenance dose and I give it to a little bit to all of my dogs, but a higher dose to my dog that's had the issue. So it's an excellent supplement. It has the glucosamine, chondroitin, uh, MSM, and uh, the two different types of glucosamine and uh, hyaluronic acid, which is the kicker. It's the one thing that you won't find in most supplements. So you wanna make sure that uh, if you wanna have all the weapons, get, the, get something with hyaluronic acid. And then I also have CBD oil, which uh, everything I get sequine size and I just dose it down uh, just because it ends up being cheaper overall. And that helps with inflammation and pain. And I just totally believe in the benefits of CBD oil. And then the dogs also get the herring oil for omega-3s, which is also great for joints. So you want to make sure that you're kind of covering all your bases if you're doing conservative management or even if you're recovering from a surgery like a TPLO or a TTA. Uh, just because they're they're gonna need those extra supplements as they heal and recover. So first I'm gonna feed the cats. I have to do this one at a time because I'm holding the camera. I have to watch Ollie because he will steal. That's Cleo. Hold on, Indra. This one's Indra. Ollie, do not steal. He's a dick. <laughs> there you go. And switching the cats to raw was no problem at all. They absolutely loved it from day one. Kilo. Kilo insists to eat over a dog bed, or he won't eat. And Tipper, my girl who was diagnosed with the injury, who's doing amazing. She loves her food. Wait, Tipper, wait. Look at me. Ah, look at me. Look at me. Okay. Try to keep them. <laughs> from thinking that uh, they control the food. And then little Snoop, she gets a higher amount just cause she's so high energy, but she is amazingly fit for a small dog. Switch to a raw diet, no problem. Her coat's beautiful, teeth beautiful, ears clean. Um, they're super, super healthy uh, eating this diet and I try to give them the very best that I can. So you can see everybody's munching away quite happily. And then when Snoop's done her food, I'm gonna give her this uh, Cornish hen foot. It's a smaller size. It's good for smaller dogs. I just know if I 
don't uh, give her the soft. First, she'll run off with the chicken foot, and then the other dogs will come and steal hers. Anyway, um, any any questions about conservative management or uh, cruciate potential cruciate or joint injuries? I've gone through bone cancer with another dog, which led me to research more into uh, raw feeding and better nutrition for my dogs. And now Tipper's going to eat her chicken foot. You'll see how she really works it back and forth. And it cleans her teeth super well. See, so she's It's basically brushing their teeth as they eat it. But you do want to supervise any time they're eating anything bone in. And Kilo's about to eat his chicken leg. Bone in, frozen. Never cooked bones. And you do want to weigh out your dog's food to make sure that you're giving them the adequate amount and make sure that you're feeding a proper balanced diet. I can't stress this enough. A lot of people think they can just feed ground beef to their dog and they're going to be healthy or just chicken. You really got to know what you're doing if you're going to do this. But the information's out there and once you have the basics, you know what you're doing. I hope this helps. I know I've had quite a few people interested in my videos. Sorry that they're not high quality. But uh, I'm just trying to get some information out there. Snoop! Snoop! Come here! Come here, Snoop! There you go. She'll go and chew on that. Nine pound dog. No problem. Anyway, any questions, uh, ask me. I'll try and uh, answer with as much info that I have. I'm not a professional by any means, but... Uh, my dogs are my life, so <laughs> I've tried to do as much research as I can. And I'm still learning. Any advice or tips, welcome as well. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.